Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. In today's video, I want to talk to you about heat and drought stress and how that may be affecting your corn crop. So as we all know all too well, climate change is real. We've been seeing increased amount of rainfall a lot of times during the spring, which has is, which is slowed planting in some cases, caused some slight compaction layers when the, when the soil was a little bit too heavy, which is re reducing root growth and development, as well as in situations like this where we're starting to see some extreme heat and drought. So the cornfield behind me is starting to show those visuals of what I'm calling that heat and drought stress, where the top part of the canopy is starting to twist up and get tight, or the leaves are, are curling, if you will. And you may be asking yourself, you know, why does a corn plant do that? And then does it have an effect on yield? So in this video, I'm gonna try to address just those two questions. The reason why a corn plant does that is a good thing in the fact that it knows that it has to close the stomates on the leaf surface in order to reduce the amount of transpiration that's occurring during the day. So transpiration is very similar to a human sweating. It's going to basically transpire moisture to help reduce the amount of temperature on that leaf surface. So a lot of times if you had a heat thermometer, you could tell that the leaf surface of a corn plant is going to be a couple degrees cooler than the air temperature around it. So that's a good thing. When there's not enough moisture in the ground for it to kind of keep those leaves flat and open, a corn plant will naturally begin to curl, tighten, close those stomates, which again is a good thing. Now with that, as you can imagine, when it's closing those stomates, you're not going to get as much uh, carbon dioxide take in and the photosynthesis of the plant or that leaf is reduced. Because of the reduction of carbon dioxide, and basically the, the energy that it's, that it's uh, acquiring from the sunlight and photosynthesis in order to keep that whole engine going is reduced. And a lot of times you'll see a corn crop slow down in its growth. So from that standpoint, that does have an effect on yield once you start seeing this effect four to five days in a row. After that fourth or fifth day, that's when you're gonna to start to see a reduction in your yield. Prior to that, a corn plant just naturally will adapt and, you know, one to four or five days of this and then, it, and then we get a rain, your yield's probably not going to be affected. But let's just say in this case, we've gone way more than five days of drought and heat. So it is having an effect. From VE to V12, you're going to see probably a one to three percent reduction in your yield per day. From V12 to VT, you're probably going to see a three to five percent reduction per day. Again, depending on some other factors, the, se the severity of the heat, the severity of the drought, and whether or not you have a compaction layer that's gonna reduce the, the, um, the root development. All of those will tend towards the higher percentages if you have all those factors. Once you get into the reproductive stages, that's where those percentages are gonna continue to climb due to the amount of consumption of water that that plant would need to, to meet those needs. And you're gonna start to see your tip back, especially if that trend continues. If you have questions or if you want to discuss this further, please don't hesitate to call any of us here at Pioneer and we'll be more than happy to visit with you about this and, and share with you what we know. Please be safe and take care. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.